Hello. Uh, if you are seeing this, I did not lose the recording this time. So, I mean, let's hope you're seeing this. Um, so my plan for this episode is to make a tree farm. Now, I have found one on YouTube, and I have a material list, so, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so, you can see down here the all the materials we need, so I guess I'll just, yeah, get a chest, and then I can have another row in my inventory. So, I know I have some chests. I thought, oh, yep, I have some in my inventory. Okay, so, first thing I need is uh, two stacks and 55 cobblestone. Okay, so that's the two stacks and 55, plus I have an extra stack for just building around. <gasps> Die. Oh yes, I have a wandering a uh, trader head. Woo! It actually worked. Yay! So there's a data pack that I have that allows you to get mob heads uh, that I added recently, so it's good to know that that works. I'll just add them there. A lot more llamas. Yeah, I'm just amassing a ton of llamas. I'm making an army. <laughs> so, I add the Two stacks and 55, five, 14 slabs and three stairs. And then three stairs. So I use this stupid recipe. Wait, don't. Didn't I get a stone cutter? No, I don't have a stone cutter. I should probably get one because the absolute stupidity of the stair recipe. But I have all of those. Oh, we need two of each of the types of nether. Uh, the nether grass. I'm pretty sure that's just to get the nether trees, because you can grow nether trees with it. So, I'm just going to skip those. Okay, signs. And I think to craft them, um, it's this. Yep. So we need 14. I am gonna put that in. 10 fence gates. I do not know how you make fence gates. Oh, so it's just sticks on the side and wood in the middle. Okay, so I need 10 of them. Okay, now, six trap doors. Let's see. I believe because slabs are this, then trap doors are this. Yep. Still seems really expensive. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need is... Is another... Trap door. And then what seems to be two pressure plates. Yeah, definitely pressure plates. 
So I'll get another trapdoor. And then pressure plates. How do. Is a pressure plate this? Yep. And then we need two. So there we. No, come on. Okay. Now I need chains and iron bars. So I think this will actually be the first time I've crafted iron nuggets. So, let's see, we need two chains. So, there we go. And then what is the iron bars? Oh! That's easy. And then I have some iron nuggets left over. So just, oh, and you get 16 bars. That is a much more fair recipe than most of the others. So what do I need next? Oh, seven levers, so I got one. And then three grind wheels. Which, I'm not even sure if that is the correct name. Grind. Grindstone, that's what it is. Three grindstones? Okay, now seven composters. So you just need two more composters. Twenty chests. I have two. Ooh, boy, this is gonna be ex Oh no, it's the perfect amount, and then I have- Right, okay. For a second I thought, Ooh, I'm gonna need another stack of logs to even- Sheesh. But, nope. Next I need, uh, hoppers. Oh, yay. Time to exhaust- completely exhaust my wood supply, hehe. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I need 16 hoppers. So... Okay, so and then I just need twelve more. There we go. And then I just need to make hoppers out of that and for that, I'm going to need more iron, won't I? Yeah, definitely. So excuse me while I get some iron. I'll get two, a total of two stacks, yeah. And then I'll have some left over. And then to make the rest of the hoppers, I just need to go like that, and boom. So the chests and the hoppers, woo! So now some redstone components. I'm gonna get this and oh, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to get more quartz. Ugh.
Ugh. Cool. I like, walked out of it at the last second. And actually, I'm gonna need a new pickaxe. So. Oh, I already have a new pickaxe. So now I have two new pickaxes. Woo! Okay, so quartz, 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 quartz. And then I just fast travel back. <laughs> okay, so now that I have a very messy and cluttered inventory, let's see what we need. So, I need some of the three the three pronged thingies and then I need a total of seven of these and then five redstone torches 23 redstone which I have oh observers I need six of two of one of the either dropper or dispenser I will check the video to see which one that is there we go, 54 scaffolding. Let's see, it looks like I need some soul sand. TNT. Look at that! Oh, look at that! Think of the destruction power! Hee 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 hee! I am gleeful! Okay, I need one obsidian and then three pistons. Boom! Look at that! It's all ready to be built. I'm going to clean out my inventory and start building. I'll see you in the time lapse. Okay, I'm just back from doing all that, and whew, it there are a few stages I went through. So I accidentally broke this one time, and then I forgot to put it back in when I uh, put in the rest of the scaffolding. So it kept on breaking because of the trapdoor slipping down. Um, you can see that I've made quite a few edits to it um i probably could have just kept it but i was trying to make some edits so i could do something better and then it and then i realized why that wouldn't work and went on to something else but this is what i'm getting so there are all those chests over there if the items don't get picked up they go into lava to make sure there's no lag. Uh, so yes, I have this station. What? That apparently it is quite easy to jump out of. Um, so I guess I'll show you how to how the farm works actually. So down here there is a clock. And uh, there's a lever over here. This is the lever to turn on the farm. This lever is uh, to uh, make the clock slightly shorter. You can see that this is only... Uh, that this is three ticks and this is one tick. So there's the difference and it does stuff. So there's redstone clock and it activates the trapdoor, which sends the signal all the way up. It's actually much taller than I thought it would be. Or, well I suppose the mob farm is not quite as tall as I thought it would be. So it goes up here. The slab is apparently to stop phantoms. So, 
it goes over here. I'm supposed to flip this lever off for jungle. Um, I think when it detects the thingy, it powers this block, which powers the trapdoor, which it observes. So it pushes, I'm guessing. I, I don't know. Don't Do not quote me on that. Um, so flip that off for jungle. And then up here, there is the TNT duper. Um, I think it just works on moving it back and forth. I think that's all that it does. All the items uh, flow from... So I'll be standing right there. And all the items are going from the TNT that will destroy the trees. Um, all the flowers, all the drops are going to go into this, uh, water thingy. So everything ends up right there, underneath that block. It flows along and goes up this tiny little water elevator here. See? And then it comes out here, goes along, and into the modified system. So I have some trap doors to make sure and the water is so the water I've actually stopped the water from flowing and then started a new one from this source right here uh, because of issues with the height so it goes into the chest for alignment and then they flow along the hopper line and anything that doesn't make it gets blocked by that cobblestone um, I don't have the stuff to fix that right now. Um, yeah, that's just for if it gets overflowed. Why? Wait, why is that? Why do you? Why? What? Why is that? Um, and you're lo you're useless too. I'm finding all sorts of useless blocks. I was about to say imposters, but then, well. Uh, so up here is the bone meal storage. So there is uh, tons of bone, bone meal loaded up. I took all the bones that have generated from that and put them all in. It's still not that much. Um, and then this is how it supplies you with saplings. Um... Wait! Oh, I just realized that's what- I just realized something about this farm. You pick up new saplings from there. So, the changes I was trying to make- So the changes I was trying to make were completely useless. <laughs> Cora! Sorry, my dog is being a stinker. Um, yeah, so that's kind of all. I am going to AFK this farm and see, see how it goes. So, from about, I think, six minutes? Somewhere around there, I got this much stuff, which is absolutely awesome amazing like this minus like maybe one stack of everything that i already had this is a lot of stuff i was thinking that i'd actually uh afk for some jungle so i think i've explained to you how this works you just sit here and these dropper systems provide you with bone meal and, sa and uh mushrooms if you're doing mushrooms Otherwise, the saplings go up, uh, and you just face there, and you keep on right-clicking, and it places the saplings down and bone meals them. And then all, all of the drops get blown up, and they fall into here, or they go under, rise up in a bubble column under here, and then they flow out there and go 
over here into the sorting system. And any leftovers die. Oh, just like me. Uh, <laughs> guess I'm leftover. So there's a clock at the bottom, and then up the up here is uh, just a TNT du duper and a circuit to make it drop after a longer period of time. I actually, uh, so I think you've probably seen that I was having some problems with it blowing up certain stuff that I didn't want blown up. So, uh, I found a solution. Uh, and so I don't have the iron bar because um, I don't actually need it in the end. There's no use. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Give me a moment to fix this. I took away the iron bar, but I changed the redstone clock timings from one tick to two ticks. I might have to change that to three, from three ticks to four ticks. I don't know. Oh, my. <laughs> the perfect time. Heh. <laughs> that's 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 nice. They use the last durability on my axe to kill the creeper. I actually didn't know that they could give you two gunpowder. I only knew you could they could give you one. Interesting. Don't know how far that went. Wonder. So that's kind of all I got. I think I'm gonna AFK the jungle a bit, and I think that's kind of all for this episode. I was thinking next episode, I would set up various uh, little, like, plant farms. Um, so, various... Land farms. So my plan is to make like a kelp farm and a sugarcane farm and a cactus farm and like all those like just various simplish plant farms. Maybe a melon farm. Yeah, a melon farm would be nice. Oh, and a cocoa bean, a cocoa bean farm. Oh, bamboo. So just kind of various plant farms of different kinds. Yeah, I think I'm gonna AFK the jungle and oh, I'll see ya next time.